So St. Barnabas was an early saint of the church, and he distinguished himself early on for generosity. It's recorded in Acts chapter 4 that he sold a big parcel of land and laid the proceeds, the money from it, at the apostles' feet. Uh, he was also known as one who went around preaching with St. Paul and going on his missionary journeys with him. Uh, it's famously recorded in Acts chapter 11, which is the reading assigned for his feast day, that uh, he brought Paul to the city of Antioch, where it's noted that the followers of Jesus were first called Christians. So Barnabas was there when they coined the term Christian. So why does St. Barnabas matter? Well, first of all, St. Barnabas is one of those saints who's associated with the very earliest days of Christianity. Uh, we say in the Nicene Creed in the service that we are we believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. And that means the church of the apostles, right? Those who walked with Christ directly or were the companions of those who walked with Christ directly. And Barnabas is one of those. He's an apostle. And so the fate of the holy Catholic apostolic church is the fate that's handed down by St. Barnabas and his companions and which they themselves helped to shape and for which most of them gave their lives. St. Barnabas reminds us to embrace generosity, to be fervent in spreading the gospel, and to bear the name of Jesus faithfully in life and in death.